minute. All right. Uh, in just a few minutes, we are going to have not one, not two, but three research use cases. These are some of my favorite, really exciting stuff that I barely understand about space and genomics, but uh, I always learn a lot. And we're also going to hear uh, the Super User Award winner for this summit. But first up, I'd like to introduce Jorn Kellerman from T Systems. Good morning and welcome to Barcelona. I will talk about the experience we made within Deutsche Telekom and within T-Systems when using OpenStack. And I also want to talk about what we believe it takes to make OpenStack an even better community project. So I'm Jörn Kellermann. I'm running our global IT operation within T-Systems. And so that includes a lot of data center and technology and private cloud and public cloud and so on and so forth. And you can imagine there's a lot of technology that's coming across and something I talk about very often. But I have to admit personally, I like OpenStack one of the best. And probably it is because it reminds me of my use when I started in IT and I was coming across Linux, for example, also a very famous uh, community product. And I do remember when I installed my first Linux on five floppy disks on my university, got it back home, and then hooked it up on my computer, and then started uh, to use the community to get things going. And uh, OpenStack, to me, has energy, passion, and probably even more important, a result coming out of it that I believe is even more energy result, like I said, and outcome to the uh, industry. And I believe um, the thing you've created with OpenStack, with all the contribution, is already changing the industry. And so first of all, thanks, you, thanks to all of you for the contribution and to making such a beautiful product. Thank you. <laughs> the second thing I like, um, and Something I'm pretty proud of is, uh, you heard about it yesterday. Uh, since yesterday, we have been a very, very, or we are very proud uh, gold member of the uh, OpenStack Foundation, and I would like to thank the team that made that uh, possible. It's really, really awesome, and I'm so proud of it. Thank you. <laughs> ah, there you are. Thank you. So um, what is it uh, in OpenStack that we like? Um, you know, Deutsche Telekom and T-Systems, we are not creating hardware. Uh, and we even, compared to our size, are not a huge software company. We do not create software products. But we integrate a lot. And so, to us, it is essential that we can use software and technology that is both open, removing barriers, and driving innovation. And to me, OpenStack is like that. And so, when talking about how we use OpenStack and what we learned out of it. You can see out of the site and imagine uh, being a large company, there's a lot of use cases uh, that, that we are uh, going for. And um, uh, probably to give some numbers about Deutsche Telekom, we have more than 150 million customers, um, more than 6 million IPTV customers. Uh, with T-Systems, we are one of the largest SAP providers. So you can imagine there's a lot of things and a lot of uh, areas where you could use OpenStack. And we started, and I think that's a very good way for large corporations, especially at that time, um, with very small private cloud installations. Yeah, so you can see on the uh, left-hand side, we just put some products of us, um, internet products, on OpenStack private cloud installation and started going. It was a good thing to do because it combined both um, a grassroots movement, so we had people within our organization that started to work with OpenStack and liked it, and to give them an opportunity to create something that really matters. And it was growing fast. Uh, we had good results. So in 2012 already, we've had installations in production based on OpenStack. Next thing was, to make that part of our strategy. So we build it and are building it into our core 
network, and we are doing lots of tests on that one, probably even more advanced than the large scissor we have seen, um, uh, because uh, we believe OpenStack is something that needs to go into strategy and into product. And we are giving it as a platform to our developers and to our customers because we believe in the ecosystem. And the more people are using it, the more we benefit as well. So you might think, OK, they are doing all that stuff, but how do they contribute? And as I said, we are not a company that's providing lots of lines of codes into the uh, OpenStack, but uh, what we provide and continue to provide is to push for standardization. That's something we believe is very important. We need OpenStack to stay open and to be on a standard that's compatible for, for, for many, many different products. We push for carrier-grade quality and carrier-grade products. What does it mean, 999999? Our systems cannot fail. Might be large SAP systems for global clients, or you don't want to have IPTV interrupted in the middle of a Champions League final, or you don't want to have your phone calls broken. So that's something where we invest and feedback heavily, and for sure, interoperability. Because we need to integrate into large-scale ecosystem, might be IT, might be NT. So that's uh, where we driving that. And we can do because the combination of OpenStack and a large company like Deutsche Telekom T-Systems is a very good one. There's a lot of experience coming from the community into the product, and I believe we can provide resource, we can provide experience, we can uh, provide access to enterprise clients and help them to go cloud and use the product. And that combination, I believe, makes us strong and makes the product strong. And I talked about that we started in 2012, 2013 with some internal stuff. And this year, we went really to the next level. And then talked about it, telcos going public cloud. And this is what we have done beginning of this year with a tremendous success because we've launched a public cloud solely based on OpenStack in our data centers, starting in Europe with a global build out. And we are doing that on three very, very simple ideas. The first one is we believe in the power of the product and the simplicity. And we are pushing that simplicity because we want that OpenStack and that the public cloud is available to many people, especially to those people that are not that tech-savvy and, and cutting-edge uh, like you probably are. Uh, but we also want a lot of uh, small-sized companies to be able to use OpenStack and the technology and cloud. So we have to make it simple, and that's where we're investing a lot of money into. We want to make it secure, meaning especially that we are coming from a very European-based data privacy, data protection attitude. We care about data. We care about who can do something with the data. So that's why we have our own high secure data centers, why we put it in there. And that fulfills a demand coming out of the market where especially European clients are looking for an alternative to safely store their data. And and your um, CFOs might, li might like it, um, we offer a product that's very price competitive. Because I also believe that will help the product to grow. Um, it is below Amazon, it is below uh, Google in terms of uh, price uh, per compute, storage, whatever, uh, because we want to make it very, very attractive. So the idea is to use OpenStack in very different flavors. And I think this is important for the community and for the things that we are driving with OpenStack. It's not only an infrastructure as a service. The ecosystem is very much the power of OpenStack. And that's why we want to have it easy for developers to use it. So we expose all the APIs, we go into dev core certifications and do all these kind of things so that all the things you do, for example, in a small private cloud installation, uh, we can offer in a large-scale carrier-grade um, cloud infrastructure. And we want to attract developers because we believe developers are core to pushing cloud and cloud transformation into enterprises. This is where it all starts. And then on top, we want 
easy access for applications and services to run on OpenStack and the infrastructure. And so that's where we continue to invest, where we will uh, definitely put lots of resource, lots of money, lots of people onto it to have something that is a platform that's carrier grade in terms of quality, in terms of reliability, in terms of features and functions. And we will continue to share that experience that we've made in putting up such large uh, hyperscale infrastructure back into the community because we live from the community, so we want to give back and we will give back, and that's a huge part of our commitment. At the same time, I'm asking you to continue to work on interoperability, avoid fragmentation. I don't want any product that's only running on one single instance or distribution of OpenStack. It has to be open. Please continue to push on that one, and please continue going carrier great in terms of quality and in terms of function set. And if we do that, I believe we can get OpenStack to the next level. Thank you. Thank you.